Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 10.2 from Sadiku book. The question is to find V1 and V2 in this circuit. Okay, we are already given in Vasor, so let's just jump into it. So here we have V1 and V2. Now I want to use nodal analysis, so I will use KCL in V1 and V2. but here we have a voltage source between the nodes. So we will need to use a super node analysis. So I will use both V1 and V2 here as our super node. Okay, let's do that. Super node. Okay, we can do KCL at the super node. KCL at super node. What does KCL say? KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the currents that goes out. The only currents that goes in is from here. And that current here will be this current, which is 75 angle 0 degrees minus V1 divided by 4. Okay, so now let's write that. 75 angle 0 degrees minus V1 divided by 4. Okay, and all the other currents is going out. So for this current here, I will have V1 over J4. V1 over J4. And then this current here, I will have V2 over minus J1. And then this current here, which is V2 over 2. V2 over 2. Okay. I think we need to simplify all of this. Now let's break this down into 75 angle 0 degrees divided by 4 minus v1 over 4 and i can just copy the right hand side right yeah let's copy that maybe like this yeah okay and for this v2 over j1 so i will i can just move this sign here right becomes minus and we can move this v1 over 4 here to the right hand side so that will be like this right and we can change this sign into plus yeah okay now let's take out let's factor out the v1 and let's factor out the v2 okay we will have what is it 1 over 4 plus 1 over J4 multiplied by V1 and then plus I think I will write this first so I will have 1 half minus 1 over J right 1 over J and then V2 and all of that will equal to 75 angle 0 degrees divided by 4. Maybe let's save this as equation number 1. Now we have two variables but only one equation. We need to find one more equation and we can get it from this voltage source. Okay, let's do that from the 100 angle 60 degrees voltage source I can get that V1 minus V2 V1 minus V2 that will be 100 and the angle will be 60 degrees okay now let's save that as equation number 2 okay now what can we do here is to solve this 
system of equation now maybe let's rewrite that as matrix now we'll have this one 1 over 4 plus 1 over j4 and then this one 1 over 2 minus 1 over j and then this one here which is 1 and this one will be minus 1 and then this vector will be v1 and v2 v1 and v2 and the result vector will be 75 angle 0 degrees over 4 and then this one will be 100 angle 60 degrees okay so far so good now let's rename all of this matrix as a b c d so we'll have a b c d and that multiplied by v1 and v2 and that will equal to e and f okay remember that we can use Kramer's rule to solve this matrix so if we need to calculate v1 we calculate it by dividing delta 1 divided by delta remember that delta 1 is the determinant of this matrix here with ac replaced by ef so the determinant will be ed minus pf and delta is just the determinant of this matrix which is ad minus pc ad minus pc and then for v2 i will have delta 2 over delta and for delta 2 this matrix this pd is replaced by ef so i will have the determinant here will be af minus c e right and then divided by the same determinant which is a d minus p c okay so now we need some help from calculator and we will save all of this as a b c d e n okay now let's put the first one here as a so one over four plus 1 over 4i and let's store that as a and then this second number 1 over 2 minus 1 over i and we store that as p and then this one 1 so 1 here i will store at store that as c and then minus 1 minus 1 I will store that as D and then here we will have 75 angle 0 divided by 4 let's do that 75 and the angle will be 0 divided by 4 and let's save it as E right save store E okay and then 100 and the angle will be 60 and save it as f okay now we have completed all of the storing and now let's do calculating v1 v1 is ed minus pf okay ed minus pf okay pf and then divide it by a d minus b c okay we will have this number here maybe let's store this number as x right so shift store x okay I think that's done and can I get back no 
Hmm, if that's the case, maybe I just want to convert it into angle. And I will have this number here. Can I do that? Nah. Okay, I will have 96.80. Yeah, 96.80. 96.80 and the angle will be 69.67 okay 69.67 and the unit will be decreased and our unit will be full right and for this one i can use similar techniques here so for the numerator, I will have AF, AF minus CE divided by AD minus BC. Okay, now let's convert it into Pasor. And I will have 16.89 okay 16.89 and what is the angle the angle is 165.72 165.72 degrees and the unit will be is it correct let's check the answer key yeah i think we are correct here okay so this is the final answer for the question. The V1 is here and the V2 is here. Uh, hopefully this will help you to learn this and thank you for watching. Bye bye.